Hey guys, Vass here from Aussie RC Playground and today we're going to be doing an unboxing with the difference. I'm going to be showing you some batteries. I don't normally do unboxings on batteries because, uh, well, for a couple of reasons. One of them being that the boxes that they normally come in are pretty plain Jane and nothing really too exciting uh, to show them off on camera. Secondly, I find unboxings of batteries and man mundane things like this to be rather, uh, you know, about as exciting as going to the dentist really. So I don't really... Uh, focus too much on unboxing little things like this however a couple of good reasons as to why I'm showing you these particular batteries is number one they come very nicely presented you can see the detail in the boxes there uh, very very nicely presented very well packaged and also and most importantly they are the latest and greatest tech uh, in the LiPo battery industry uh, given that they are graphene so these are the Turnigy graphene batteries uh, from Hobby King uh, they come in a variety of different uh, milliamp hours different uh, cell counts uh, various sizes you can use them in planes boats cars quads whatever it is that uh, takes a lipo battery you can use these things uh, they are a little bit more expensive than the norm of what uh, you'd normally find at hobby king however they do promise to give you uh you know power right up until the end of its charge cycle so uh, that's one of the things i'm going to be looking for i'm going to be looking for power delivery uh, whether there is actually going to be a noticeable increase in power when I run them in my cars and of course how well they will sustain that power at least from the feel of it and, and how I kind of visualize the power I suppose uh, you know in the performance of the vehicle that I'm using them in so as you can see here I've got two boxes um, these are 2S packs and I've, I've got two of them just to uh, kind of try out I can use them in my 10 scales and of course I can pair them up and use them in my eight scales as well and, and that's where I'm really going to be testing these batteries out so um, this is how they come packaged up uh, the box does have this uh, kind of paper ribbon wrapped around it uh, once you slide that off uh, you'll be able to open the box up it does have some magnets on the bottom here so it'll actually stay shut which is very very cool and then of course you'll open it up you'll see this foam kind of uh, sitting on top here you get rid of this guy and then you'll see that the uh, back battery actually comes packaged in this like um, I don't know what you call it, like a velvet bag. Almost looks like something that you would buy your girlfriend for, uh, you know, Valentine's Day. I mean, it's very, very cool, uh, very fancy. And then, of course, uh, you slide your battery out, and there it is there. So that is a 7,500 milliamp, 90C discharge. Uh, these should last a very, very long time. I'm not entirely sure how long um, I will get out of one of these, but I'm assuming probably 30 minutes plus, uh, possibly even 40 minutes, I, I'm, I, depending on the RC that I'm using. I mean, I guess, but uh, wow, I mean, 7,500 milliamps, these uh, should last a very long time. Uh, also in the box, there is a warning label, of course. You should read through this if you're not familiar with LiPo batteries. And um, then you have your cables. Now, a couple of interesting things about the cables. Uh, number one, it does come with some right angle bullets already pre-mounted on there. So when you do stick this into the battery, uh, the bullets won't actually be sticking up like this way. They'll actually lay down flat. Uh, there are no plugs pre-installed on these cables and these are 10 gauge cables as well. Um, so you'll need to obviously solder on your own. And they do give you a spare couple of uh, bullets as well. So if you do want to change it out and have the cables kind of coming out from the top of the battery, you can do that as well. Another interesting thing about this battery, and I don't know if you'll pick it up on camera here, but these, um, these holes are actually, they go all the way through. So you can plug the battery in either way, depending on how you want to run it. So uh, very, very cool. And uh, yeah, I'm very much looking forward to running these. I'll quickly unbox this one as well and just show you what this one is. I mean, it's exactly the same, but I may as well show it to you. Be really quick with it. Pop that aside, open this guy up, and there it is, another 7,500 milliamps of graphene LiPo power. So uh, that is it for this uh, very kind of quick and brief unboxing. If you do want to find out a little bit more information about these batteries, please be sure to check out the video description. I'll have a link in there to the Hobby King website uh, where you'll be able to see a little bit more technical data about these batteries and why they are, um, you know, a little bit special, a little bit different from your norm uh, for, or from your normal uh, LiPo packs. 
and also just giving you some information about the resistance and and all that sort of thing uh, because they are supposed to deliver power with a, a little bit less resistance and that's the whole idea with these batteries uh, just to give you that little bit of extra boost uh, just when you need it and to be able to have that all the way right up until the uh, battery uh, needs to be recharged again that is it for this unboxing guys Thank you all very much for watching. Uh, please be sure to give the video a thumbs up if, of course, you enjoyed it. And don't forget to check out the video description, as I said. There'll also be a link in there to my Facebook page. And, of course, if you haven't already, please do subscribe. Always appreciate new subscribers and newcomers to the channel. Uh, and that is it from me. Thank you all very much for watching, and I will speak to you next time.